Alright, today's video is on the fuse for the teller mines, or more specifically the teller mine 35. I know it's been a while since I made a video. I've been working between 64 and 75 hour weeks during the summer here, replacing people on vacation. Also, I cleaned out my camera lens a bit because I had a whole bunch of dust in there that uh, was really making a mess of the videos. So I had it apart for about a week when I finally got the time to get it back together. So anyways, finally got to working on this. I picked it up. It's pretty much a solid mass. I'm still not finished putting it back together again because I need to get some new screws for it and the wire but anyways the original wire that was on it it was a solid mass of rust and it connected to here normally but we'll get to that now alright so the way these mine these fuses work is you screwed it in to the top of the mine if you look up a Teller Mine 35, you'll actually see what they look like. They're called plate mines because that's what Teller means in German. Anyways, so it's screwed onto the top like that. You would then take this and take it from the safety, which is here, turn it to the armed side. Then you have your wire that was wrapped around here. You'd unravel it all, and you'd be connected to this. You'd then, from a safe distance, pull on this, and that would remove the secondary safety on it, which would then leave the mine in a live mode. If you didn't use it, you wanted to pick it up again, what you'd do is take this and turn it back to the safe position, and the mine would be safe enough to handle it took between 300 and 600 pounds of force to set this mine off well to set off the mine using this fuse here and I'll show you how that works now so for starters take off the screws on the top and you'll see that it's really nothing spectacular see it's just too long. I'm waiting for new ones and we'll take apart the original one here. Anyways, see just a plate. This is the original paint on it also. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it but anyways. This here see a little spring in there so as you see it just turns and is stopped by that little pin there so it doesn't go past the actual place it's supposed to the screw you see here is just for setting the firing pin at the right height on it it's to allow it to actually go off when it's supposed to. I'll show you later when I get the whole thing undone. So next I'll take off this is for holding the primer here. Comes off pretty simple. Normally. I'll grab two. They're pinned in place, it means it took a lot of force to take it off the first time, but after that it's fine. You see, primer's in the middle there, and it hasn't been struck. Inside there you see the firing pin. So first thing is I'll show you how the safety comes out. Let me get 
get something for pushing. I brought it before. Which is just a uh, Robertson screwdriver, so. First. Unscrew this so I can take the whole thing off. do is I'll show you. I have to remove this pin to get it out properly. But when you're ready to set it, there's a pin here. So you pull. You've removed the safety on it. And then this comes off. And it's left like that. That way you don't yank on the mine if you pull too hard. And now uh, your mine would be in the ready to fire position. Since I pulled the pin out, nothing's holding the innards anymore. As you see, simple machining. You see a little screw through the bottom and through the top. It just contacts here. Anyways, <clears throat> when you turn the safety knob that was on the top, You see how this thing here is blocking the firing pin. Let's see if I can fit something in there to see if I could get the thing locked in place for now. Probably not, but and I'll move the safety on it. Turn it out like that. And I didn't get it lined up properly, so I can remove the safe into the firing pin now. The spring firing pin and the hole that's on that firing pin there lines up like that this hole goes through the body here and goes in there that's for a shear pin and what that does is when there's enough force on it this gets pushed up when there's enough force on it it shears the pin that connects these two, which allows this spring to push down and fire the mine. So this would sit up here. The safety fits in that notch there. So when that's out of the way and it's pushed on, it allows the firing pin to hit the primer. Try to simulate it a little bit here. Probably won't be able to get it done properly, but don't do this without hurting myself. Alright, so the shear pin would hold it in place like this. Obviously this whole part wouldn't be there. And when it's put in there, the top of this firing pin contacts the top of the housing. So when it's pushed down, the whole fuse is pushed down, it contacts on here. So this pushes up, whereas this is trying to push down because whatever it is is pushing on it. The tank is pushing on top of it. Which then breaks the pin or shears the shear pin and fires a mine and in this case makes a nice little dent in the cardboard that's under that so I'll get the firing pin out just to show you what 
or the spring out with a firing pin just to show what it does. So as you see normally it would sit like this. This would be pushing up against the bottom or against the piece that's in the mine. This would be up on the housing of the mine. So as soon as there's enough weight to push push it in like that, that would break the shear wire and release a firing pin. Therefore, firing the mine. As you see, there is a lot of machining in this. The later fuses for the mines really weren't that uh, well made. They were just shear pins with little springs and did the job, cost a lot less to build and um, took less materials. But anyways, that's how this mine fuse, or this fuse for this for the Teller Mine 35 works. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you have any questions please leave a comment. My next video will probably be on the ZZ42 or whatever they're called, which is the release one. Made out of Bakelite. I just gotta clean it up a bit more before I make a video on it. Anyways, thanks for watching.